double bill for you this afternoon, and uh, we'll be right back with the Zebra 123 band and street talk in just a little bit. But uh, first of all, got to pay the bills. Today's starting point is going today with the members of the Zebra 123 band. You guys are, uh, your mics are live now, so quit your messing around. <laughs> okay, uh, members of the band, the Zebra 123 band, and uh, everybody knows them because uh, you're on the, uh, the concert line quite a bit. Uh, anymore these days. Uh, Steve Brunner on the bass and backing vocals, Kirby McMillan on guitar and lead and backing vocals, and uh, Phil, how do you pronounce your last name? Phil Tag. Tag, as in uh, the games people play, right? Okay, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> right, yeah. and uh, you're, uh, you're another guitar and backing vocals. Right now, you're uh, Sam's drummer. You don't have a drummer. Right, that's right. And uh, you're auditioning new people, and uh, on the music that we're going to hear today, which is tape, and uh, uh, who was it, Bruce Choquette? Choquette. Choquette. Okay, just want to make sure I got that uh, wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's playing drums on the tape. Now, you guys were uh, formed in early April of this year. Right, uh, yeah. Nice and uh, your first gig was uh, June 1st at Leroy's Ringside. Now, uh, the songs uh, we've got on tape here today are recorded a uh, 16-track uh, uh, not too long ago, just the 13th and the 14th of August, uh, which was which is still actually this month, just a couple of weeks ago here in Denver. And uh, uh, including mixed down time and everything else, you've got uh, eight hours of total studio time, which, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty quick in that this day and age. In this yeah, day we, and did, age. we did everything in two takes or less. So all the music's live. Everything, it's, um, every, the only thing that's overdubbed is the vocals. All the music's dead live on the tape. Okay, it's just essentially like a one-take shot. Right. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> what is the, what's the first one we're going to hear? Uh, the first song is a reggae song we wrote. All these songs are originals. This first one's called Good. Rude Rock Suburbia. Rude Rise <laughs> instead of Roots Rock Reggae. Is, right. it, is it a take off of the Bob Marley thing? Well, uh, you know, we wouldn't say. You know, we wouldn't hold Bob to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, maybe if he's picking up the show on Skip down there in Jamaica, he might get a little upset. But uh, until that point in time, let's give it a listen. The Zebra 123 right. band on the KFML starting point. <laughs> the Zebra 123 band here on the KFML starting point and uh, a reggae tune that uh, was written by let's see who wrote this and check through my things here ah yeah McMillan and Bruner 
over there. Let me turn your mics on here. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Uh, looking through your notes that you handed me, which is really nice, because I'm really not that familiar with what you do. Um, uh, your influences, and uh, you've written down here uh, that you're committed to doing fast, loud, intense, and passionate, fun rock and roll that you can dance to, and you won't do a song if you can't dance to it, which is nice, uh, because a lot of, uh, I've, in talking to a lot of people going to a few different clubs in town, and uh, if I could get some feedback on this, then uh, a lot of new wave stuff you can't move to, it's either too fast, or the beat is uh, just a little bit off, and it makes things difficult to dance to. I think people are, uh, have been influenced a lot by disco, you know, with a bump, 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 you know, that sort of thing, which is good because, I mean, at least it got people off of their seats, out on the dance floor, and, you know, doing some sort of expression, uh, at least where they're dancing, and uh, it's nice to see. If you could give me some feedback on, on that, on that, uh, well, what we hope to do, you know, I mean, we, rock and roll is a fun thing. That's what we always yes, thought. Is. And, um, you know, we hoped to like the early Beatles and the early Rolling Stones and the Kinks and the Yardbirds and stuff. And they had this big R&B backbeat in the bone of all their songs. You know, that's true. That's you, could, really true. you know, it's like Stax, Bolt, Motown, that kind of stuff. There was a big beat there, and that's what we're looking for. You know, we're doing it within a rock and roll format. <laughs> we do reggae stuff and other stuff, too. But, I mean, we want people to... I mean, we're not trying to be... We don't, we don't want to sit around and bore the audience, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. with some kind of slow... It's, it's, yeah, it's an emotional music. thing, you know. It's, it's, it's something you can feel. It's a jungle it's a, beat, you know. That's some of the bands like to be cerebral and they like to be, I guess, aesthetic. But we, yeah. like, we like to be crazy. We, we could probably be that way if we wanted to. We could do stuff like that if we wanted to. I think anybody could really. <laughs> You know, just we taking fun. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. Isn't that is what crazy. it's all about? It's a release for me. I, for, for me, it's just a big release. What about uh, a listener fan? I don't. I don't really like the term fan too much. Uh, friend response. How how has your uh, uh, support been as far as the the people that see you in the clubs uh, that you play, et cetera? Fair, pretty good for for as long as we've been playing and some of the difficulties we've had. Well, yeah. I really can't complain. I, we, it's going to get better. I feel we'd like it to get better. Yeah. <laughs> it will get better. Mm -hmm. We're making. That's why you know we're working on our sound and our musicianship. And it takes a while for a lot of things to come together. It really does, and it's just out there plugging at it it's day a after day. Effect after. is what we're hoping for. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Let's uh, take a look over here. Um, okay, you've got uh, some of your influences that. Um, you know, uh, early rock and roll, of course, soul, rhythm and blues, reggae, punk, new wave. You know, there there really doesn't seem to be um, a whole lot of that much influence uh, as far as is, is punk and new wave because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Dr. Domeno's Delights Volume 2, but there's a song by the tunes entitled Punk Polka, you know, and it's a uh, turnaround, you know, jab a safety pin into your face. I don't believe <laughs> that you're into that sort of activity. No. You know, and as a matter of fact, the, the actual punk scene is dead. Um, as far as uh, I, can, I can see the new wave with uh, uh, down here, you've written down as far as your influences, the Sex Pistols, the Clash, New York Dolls, people like that, the Ramones, of course, which are just, you know, incredibly big, especially in the Apple, you know, in the Big Apple. Um, when, you, when you sit down and write a song, okay, this, you know, because this seems to be essentially the nucleus, you know, being how you are without a drummer currently. Uh, oh, yeah, and we'd like to give a plug to the broadcaster's drummer. Who is, right. who is going to be sitting in for you on a couple of gigs. We want to make right. sure... And if there's any drummers right out there down. listening, 832-5563, uh, give us a call. If you <laughs> like the tape, auditioning drummers. we're auditioning drummers. <laughs> okay, um, well, that's great, because I know there's somebody out there with a set of skins just collecting dust and, dust, and he's going, oh, come on, I would really like to beat on these things and, and do something with the group, you know, yeah. <laughs> just, just get down with it. Um, don't be afraid of your drum set. <laughs> right. Uh, as far as uh, as far as writing is concerned, because I'm I'm sort of a closet writer myself, you know, and uh, I'll sit there and I'll take a look at my lyrics. You know, I'll write down maybe four verses to something, and uh, I'll put it away for a couple of days. You know, a week, a month, or something, and go back and look at it, read it over, and, and get really sick of what I've written <laughs> and throw it away. I do that. You know. Now I was wondering, you know, how much of that stuff is involved with what you're doing? Oh. A lot. I mean, some of these songs have been, you know, generating for over a year. Mm -hmm. You know, it just all of a sudden it came together. Or a lot of times, you know, we'll write some music and then we can't find any words we like, and it'll be, you know, we'll put two songs together that we had in mind. Kirby will come up with two lines, and then I'll throw two more lines in there. So, in other words, it's it's a it's an aggregation. I mean, it's like a melting pot. Everybody has something to contribute. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah, it's, it's not like there's just one person over here writing the words and somebody's over there trying to uh, put a melody together or something. No, because yeah, we always. That's one thing we always stress from the beginning. We want everybody to contribute in the right. band. Okay, uh, Could Not Be Your Friend is the next thing we're going to hear. And it was written by, uh, by you, Kirby. Right. Right. Uh, this, uh, I need a little bit of setup because it could not be your friend. It sounds like uh, you might have met somebody somewhere and it just didn't hit off. 
Am tell, I close? Tell them about the rock against Reagan. <laughs> well, you, we usually dedicate this song to our favorite politician, Mr. Ronnie Reagan. But, um, you know, um, we give Jimmy Carter equal time here, but um, you know, we don't want to get in any trouble. But, Make sure um, we have a mention, yeah. yeah that, but, that movie, uh, Dawn of the Dead by George Romero. Yeah, that, that has to do with the song, the song, too. too. I, and, and when you meet girls, you get interested in them, and they don't want to be interested in you, and they always tell you, well, I just want to be friends. <laughs> we don't want to be friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't we don't, yeah, we're tired of that, you know. <laughs> I hear that 100%. Well, let's, uh, let's give it a listen. Uh, could not be your friend dedicated to Ronnie Reagan, Jimmy Carter, and all the girls that won't go home with you. <laughs> Zebra one, two, three, band <laughs> on the right. KFML starting point. Okay, the Zebra 123 band on the KFML starting point, and I guess.